Be careful because there's some rumors going around out there that Ozempic, Wegovy, and Manjaro are causing muscle loss. I recently saw a TikTok video with someone claiming that people, proportionally speaking, are becoming fatter with these GLP-1 agonist drugs. Yes, claims about these drugs making people fatter, I know. Let's debunk some myths with some good old science. It's true that these medications cause a small decrease in lean body mass, basically a small degree of sarcopenia, which is the medical term for muscle wasting or muscle shrinkage. However, these drugs proportionally cause much more fat loss than muscle loss. Before we get into how we can prevent muscle loss while on these drugs, let's take a look at the evidence. What does it actually show? How about this study from 2017, which showed that after 12 weeks of semaglutide, which is Ozempic and Bigovi, there was a threefold greater loss of fat compared with lean body mass. Or how about this 2020 study showing semaglutide increased the proportion of lean mass by 1.2%. And of course, the famous study that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2021, showing that semaglutide had a proportional increase in lean body mass of 3%. So yes, people will have some overall loss of lean body mass. In this study, they lost five kilograms, that's about 11 pounds or so, of lean body mass. But they also had an eight kilogram fat loss. So the actual proportion of lean body mass increased by 3%. What's also interesting here is that the placebo group actually lost more lean mass, specifically 1.83 kilograms, compared to fat mass, which was 1.37 kilograms. So when compared to the people who received Ozempic, proportionally, they actually had a greater loss of lean body mass in that placebo group. And here's another thing to consider. The DEXA scan, it's not the most accurate when it comes to splicing out the details of body composition. So in other words, it's not the greatest at differentiating adipose tissue, fat mass, from lean body mass like muscle. So it's pretty clear that semaglutide, also known as Ozempic and Wegovy, they do cause a decrease in lean body mass, but proportionally wise, the GLP-1 agonists cause much more fat loss compared to muscle loss. In fact, this study showed that people who underwent bariatric surgery, they demonstrated over eight kilograms of a fat-free mass and lean body mass loss within one year after they had the bariatric surgery, which reflected 21% and 22% of total body weight loss, respectively. Anytime someone loses weight, about one quarter to one third of that weight is gonna be lost in the form of muscle or lean body mass. And the faster that we lose weight, the higher the percentage of muscle loss. So there are three specific things that you can do to counteract this process when losing weight. But before I get into that, real quick, you might be wondering about Manjaro, also known as terzepatide. This is also a GLP-1 agonist, but unlike Ozempic, it's also a GIP agonist, which means it also acts as an adipokinin, which is to say that it mimics a hormone in our body that specifically burns fat. That's what the GIP does, but not the GLP-1. Well, in this study, the Surmount-1 trial showed that participants treated with Manjaro had a percent reduction in fat mass about three times greater than the reduction in lean mass, resulting in an overall improvement in body composition. So the ratio of fat mass loss to lean mass loss was basically the same compared to other forms of weight loss, including bariatric surgery. So back to the question, what are the three things that you can do to preserve or even increase your lean body mass? Because yes, it's possible to gain muscle while burning fat. Possible, but not easy. For one, it's exercise, specifically resistance training. This can be in the form of lifting weights or calisthenics or even high intensity interval training. In fact, your muscles, they're filled with mitochondria and the mitochondria are the powerhouses of your cell. They provide the energy to your cell. And your mitochondria actually increase both in the size and in the number when you engage in moderate high intensity uh, exercise. So ideally about 150 minutes of moderate to high intensity exercise per week. So you wanna do that resistance training and or high intensity interval training for that purpose. The second thing is making sure you're eating enough protein. The exact amount will depend on the person. It ends up being around 75 grams of protein per day. Uh, but again, it, it's gonna uh, come down to that individual person. Studies show that higher protein results in less lean mass loss and more fat mass loss compared to lower protein intake. The third thing is getting enough high quality sleep. So having healthy, restorative, and consistent sleep patterns 
impact various hormones involved in body weight regulation and muscle strength. Uh, for example, growth hormone, it's made in our brain in the pituitary gland. It's mostly secreted at night during our sleep. This hormone stimulates the mTOR enzyme in our cells, including in our muscle cells. So this mTOR enzyme is responsible for growth of the cell, or at the very least, preventing shrinkage of that muscle cell. So having optimal circadian patterns of these hormones helps contribute to a healthier body composition. On the flip side, sleep deprivation can lead to increased levels of your hunger hormone, so that's going to cause more food cravings. The risk of muscle loss while taking GLP-1s is just one important reason why people on these medications should be under the supervision of a weight loss expert who is familiar with these drugs and who deeply understands that lifestyle is incredibly important, especially when it comes to nutrition, understanding metabolic health, exercise, and sleep. It's also important that people be monitored while taking these drugs by a physician who knows them well. That way it can be custom tailored and adjustments made as necessary. And if you wanna book a consult with me, go ahead and click on the link in this video or in the link that I put in the description below and I'll see you soon.